Hello friends on YouTube. Today I'm going to give a tutorial on my uh, on my model Dolly. She's a wonderful model because she never complains about what she gets. Now I'm going to give a tutorial about a basic asymmetrical line. So I'm going to show you how to cut that. I show it on a doll because uh, today I don't have a model and I think uh, it's also very interesting to see how it works on a doll. Let's start. Just like a normal uh, model, I'm starting to wet the hair. This makes it easier to part the hair and it works nicer. And when she would be a real person, she wouldn't have complaining about uh, irritating hairs that fall into her face. Start by parting the first line. The first line will be on the half of the underline and the upper li lines so in the between they uh, will combine to each other and connect to each other so apart on that line pull this through to the back and put my clippers on so I part it over the about two and a half centimeters from below the, the line above the ear to the, the skull where the skull moves up. Now the first line I'm going to cut is my baseline. I hold the fingers in the line of my fall. And I will connect all lines to this line. Work in one line to the back and stay working in that same line till I reach the part behind the ear on the right side. This is my first baseline. Now wet the hair and I connect the hairs beneath it on the same line. So don't get too short. On the back, I take the hair up on the line of falling, pointing to the center line, and in this angle, I stay working. Do this to connect all the hairs to the previous cut baseline. create a connection to the line that I cut last I softly work up the line just taking off the other line I made a nice soft connection to the line that lays above it Give it a rounding.
make a nice strong contour line. Do the same on the underlines. Give it a rounding. And of course, you don't have to shave it out. Coming to the sides, holding the comb in the line of cutting, and connect it to the baseline I see laying there. Then pull the hairs to the front. Now I've cut myself the first baseline of this asymmetrical look. Now I'm going to connect the hairs that lay above it. Part the line about two centimeters. Lay the hairs down in the line of the asymmetrical line. And now I pull the hair on the line of cutting. So there I connect both lines. This was my first cutting line and on that line I connect all the lines. Even she is a doll, she has a, a way of a natural flowing of the hair because there is somebody who put the hair on and it has a flow, you can see it, it flows nicely back. Put it on the first baseline. It's laid beneath my fingers. Pulling the hair on the first baseline. Connect all the hairs on that baseline. My first correction on the part because it's a doll, it has other con connection than a normal person has, so I give it a slight rounding. Take a new layer on it. Now I lay over the center of the skull. I think there will be no hair left to cut, but just to control it, I will walk for the last time along this line, my first cut baseline. And back again. Now go over to the other side. I've parted myself in the line of the chin line, so the hair lays in that line. My comb will lay in the same line, going to the back, because there I have to connect the lines.
And because I'm cutting this in a blunt line, it will be an ultra strong hairstyle. Take a new line on it. Part it again in the chin line. Take it to the back, pointing with my fingers in the line of the chin line. Take the hair straight down in an angle of 90 degrees. And connect both lines to each other. Count to the part, I think this is the last hair that will not reach the underlines. Lay the hair in a natural fall over the roundings of the skull. Start in the front, pulling it down, adjust the line. And work till I get to the center line of the skull on the back. Going to the front, I parted myself in the line of the chin line, the front, going connected, working an asymmetrical line. Connected to the first line of cutting, holding as much length as I can. We just lay it in the fall of the chin line as long as possible. Travel back this line. This line will be my guide through the front lines. Take a new line on it, pull it to the front, lay it in the line, I'm working till I get on the midsection above the eye, not further than that. So I parted, my, I part myself there from the side aside, leaving one guy behind, pulling it down. Here was my first line of as guideline, so there I connect on. Come to the front, part the line in the line of the eyebrow bone, gently lay it down, and in the soft point cut technique, I go down. Just connect both lines to each other.
find out if I've got all the hairs because the upper hair is a little bit short. I take it up and just make sure that all the lines connect to each other. Working a bit in the moon shape. So I take them up like this. Holding my fingers on an angle of 45 degrees. And working like a clock around the center of the skull. For so far the cutting of the baseline of the asymmetrical line, so now I just have to dry it and show you the end result. Before I start working, I want to show you some new product of Rovera. It's a nice small containers. The bottle is uh, 200 milliliters, and they have a wonderful small line of styling products. Uh, one is a glossy. This is smoother. Then you have a curl product and you got a strong scalping gel. So this four bottles is the new line of Rover is now available on the market. Also new of Rover is a, a wonderful um, pomade. The pomade is a, a wonderful product to work with. It's not uh, sticky and not, not greasy but it smells just delicious with a small flower so even girls uh, can use it without uh, having a man's uh, smell on their head. I'm going to use on this uh, dolly of mine it's a smoother. It's a serum. It comes out very, uh, very strong. It's a, it's a very playable product. It smells uh, ultra delicious. I always uh, comb the products through the hair because then I'm certain that it is all over the hair and not just on the upper layers and the upper hair. I will blow dry it with a medium brush, starting in the underlines. Not giving it a rounding, just laying it in a natural fall. On the short side, you just brush the hair to the back. And as fast as I can see some length, I take it off my brush and lay it in the shape. I'm going to show you this style in two different ways. One as a classic. And one is a, a funky hairstyle to go out with. But that's the nice thing about this hairstyle. It's a wonderful hairstyle to be just a strong, feminine, elegant woman. 
and also to be a, a funky young youngster with a classic trendy style so you, it's just a way of working it out when you work it out with a pomade you get a, a different result but I'll show you So far blue drying and now I'm going to style it. The first product I'm going to style it with is a, a glossy a milk and the glossy milk will just add some shine, not too much but it will treat the hair wonderfully. Take just a small drop, work it out over my hands and gently bring it on the hair. And it has a wonderful milky smell. Takes out all the hairs that are sticking out. Bring them in a wonderful soft feeling. This is the first style of the asymmetrical look I'm going to show you. I will make photos of it so that you see it now and then I will uh, restyle it into a punky hairstyle. Okay, that were the photos of uh, this hairstyle. And now I'm going to make it some more punky like. So I take the new Rover hair pomade. It's a wonderful product what I told you. It's not the, the, like the classics ones. It can be manly but also very feminine. It's nice to work with because it's, it is a very playable product. You can do a lot of crazy things with it. I love it a lot. It's not greasy it's wonderful to work it out like crazy. And you see if you make a classic uh, blow dry, you can work it out like uh, a, a trendy new style. Because the basic lines are always the one you need to make a strong hairstyle. The nice thing about pomade is that it dries and gives this wonderful feeling of strongness. Also using a new hairspray is also a wonderful strong hairspray just to give it a hold. Brushes out very easily. And this is the same hairstyle, but then work out a little bit uh, rougher. Of course, you can also do it in a wet style, it's always looking sexy. But I just do this too. Thanks to Dolly, thank you for being my model, you were very brave to do this. And I show you, of course, the photos of it. Thank you for watching, hope you can do something with it. Leave the comments, I will always read them, and when it's necessary, I uh, respond on it. Bye bye, till next time.